Hi folks, uh, Bob Lippman here, Rhinebeck Aerodrome Museum trustee, and I'm here with Mark Mandalo, our Director of Airplane Maintenance. Uh, we're standing in front of the Hanrio, which is a 1910 design. That's right. Um, maybe, what can you tell me about this airplane? Well, the Hanrio was designed by Rene Hanrio, go figure, and it was a very successful early Pioneer Edwardian airplane design. And it was so successful that really it became one of the forms that successive airplanes took. And uh, it is a great air show performer here at Old Rhinebeck. We really love the Hanrio. It's basically the entry into the world of the pioneers for our pilots who want to fly them. And uh, it really is very well mannered for such an old airplane design. And as I understand it, Hanrio's son Marcel flew this airplane in competition in 1910 and was the youngest pilot in Europe at the age of 15. I am absolutely spellbound. That was a remarkable flight and apparently a very safe landing. Uh, you know, I've always noticed that this kind of looks like a canoe. It looks like a boat. That's right, yeah. It's basically built like a racing skiff, which is something Rene Hanrio is very familiar with. Mm -hmm. And it's all mahogany wood construction. You know that rich mahogany, and it really gives it this sort of daring, rakish, fast look yeah. about it. Yeah, so not a lot of wire bracing on the fuselage, so right. a lot slipperier, less drag, kind of a faster plane. Exactly. Now, like the Blario, this is a wing warping airplane, so this is pre-aileron. That's right, yeah, and the probably the most unusual thing about the Hanrio is your dual control sticks. Right. One for wing warping and the other for your elevator control. Yeah. Very weird for a modern pilot to try to uncouple their two hands into yeah. two different motions. Uh, that, that was an uh, innovation that didn't really take. Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that was a little too complicated, so... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I know this plane flew in the uh, 2020 season. That's uh, right. And had kind of a hard landing, and uh, we discovered a little bit of a crack in a Londron. We'll take a look at that. And uh, what's it going to take to repair that? Because this is this kind of woodworking is not uh, something you can just order from uh, Amazon, right? No, no, we can't just order parts off Aircraft Spruce, unfortunately, or Amazon or anything like that. And the hardware store doesn't carry Hanrio parts. <laughs> but uh, what, what we're looking to do is uh, make the most authentic light repair possible to the airplane. Uh, the Landron and the skin that's slightly damaged by a really pretty mild hard landing. Um, but doing that requires very precise woodworking skills, more akin to somebody making a violin than building an airplane. Yeah. So yeah. we're looking to do that this winter or spring. So uh, we hate to talk about money, but uh, when come right down to it, what does something like that cost in terms of materials, labor? Yeah, well the good thing is wood is pretty cheap, all mm -hmm. things considered. Might be a little more expensive nowadays, but the labor and the, uh, the fine detail work is very time consuming with a repair like this. So that's really what's, what's going to cost the most money. So I think we're looking to raise uh, about 10000 on this one to get it that's flying right. again for the air shows. Yeah. So uh, we appreciate uh, all the donations that you folks are giving. Uh, we couldn't run this without our volunteers and all of our supporters. And thank you so much for everything that you do to keep us flying. And, uh, Tis the season for restoration. That's so. right. It's going to be a busy winter here at Old Rhinebeck. We're looking forward to seeing you all back here on uh, May 1st for our reopening. That's right. And uh, it's going to be a great season. Thank you very much, everybody. All right. Happy holidays. Happy everybody. holidays.